In this recording, I am going to talk about the BM25 retriever for keyword based retrieval. And then we'll see a code to see how uh, a, an example implementation of this retrieval. Now, before we go into the code, let's uh, understand what BM25 is. So, this uh, is from Wikipedia. So BM25, it's um, so BM is the abbreviation for best matching. It's a ranking function used by search engines like Solar and uh, Elasticsearch to estimate relevance of documents. So it is uh, more advanced than TFIDF, and both uh, Solar and Elasticsearch uh, currently for them the uh, for those products uh, it is a default scoring. Uh, in fact, the Lucene index uh, underneath, right? The Lucene from version 6.0 onwards, it uses uh, uh, BM25 uh, technique to uh, search uh, documents from the indexes. And um, like, as I mentioned, it is, is more advanced than TFIDF. There is a big formula for that. I'm not going into the formula. If you want to understand um, how the scoring, the ranking score is derived, um, uh, the Wikipedia, this uh, site has the uh, scoring. It's very easy to understand. Uh, if you understand what TFIDF is, uh, then understanding uh, the formula of PM25 is not uh, uh, at all complex. And uh, <clears throat> the conceptual solution uh, is this, right? And this is what we'll see in the code also. So let's say, um, so this, this uh, use case is where, let's say, I have past incidents and resolutions and uh, the support folks, uh, when a new incident comes in, they would like to see if that has happened earlier and uh, how what was it uh, resolved earlier, right? So for them to quickly find a resolution, um, how they can use uh, BM25 plus a language model. That is the use case. And the conceptual solution is like this. So I'll take all my... Um, past history of uh, incident, the incident corpus, extract the incident string, resolution string. And if there is a link to that solution, like where it is uh, stored, I'll capture this and index them in an Elasticsearch uh, index. In, in the code, I don't show the Elasticsearch. I actually create a dummy um, uh, set of documents, um, but uh, ideal in, in production, we can index it in the Elasticsearch. From Elasticsearch, I can then um, get the uh, the historical incident string, resolution string, link, link to the resolution, uh, put it in a document schema, lang Langchain document schema. So that and when the, the new incident, right, I pass through a BM25 uh, search, in, uh, search technique. Uh, so BM25 from my incident corpus, it will... Um, let's I'll ask it to give the top uh, uh, five documents uh, with a threshold score. So those relevant resolution uh, or those relevant documents I'll get. And from those relevant documents, I will uh, extract the resolution and the, and the source link, give it to the language model to give the response. Now this, uh, the BM25, since it's more uh, a keyword um, based uh, retrieval technique, it will be good for scenarios where the prompt and the relevant um, documents can be matched through keyword matching and not through semantic matching. Um, some of the uh, examples can be like um, in the incident support type of use cases or uh, um, service request if I want to find out uh, how to uh, resolve a service request. Uh, those type of scenarios, mostly it is uh, uh, the, 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 the question or the, the new incident or the new service request will have keywords that I can match with the historical uh, incident and the service request dump, right? So that is uh, the um, conceptual solution. Let's go to the code and see how we can implement this. So as I said, like I did not use uh, Elasticsearch. I created a um, dummy um, BM25, I'll not say a dummy, it, it still uh, calculates the BM25, but I'm not bringing it from uh, Elasticsearch. I'm using the Langchain BM25 Retriever. 
um, and uh, uh, this documents I am uh, manually uh, created these documents by going to Stack Overflow. Each of them is from uh, Stack Overflow, but ideally in production, I will uh, index it in Elasticsearch first, and and this will be this will automate the creation of this uh, through uh, Python or uh, some other code language, and. Um, yeah, so this, these are the uh, five documents uh, that I created from Stack Overflow, where I have the question, let's say this is the uh, historical incident. And then uh, I, in the metadata, I stored the resolution for this and also uh, resolution and the source, right? So this metadata is, is a JSON um, uh, component where I stored the resolution and the source of a past incident. Similarly, I have uh, four other past incidents. Uh, these are all answered by me in, in Stack Overflow. If you uh, go there, you will say these are uh, the answers that I gave on uh, some of the Snowflake questions. So this is um, my, mm, um, I, I don't want to use a dummy because uh, it still uses BM25. The only thing is this I have manually created in production, this will be, uh, uh, retrieve from Elasticsearch. So once I have the retriever, then what I do is, uh, so this is the query that I have. Let's say this is a new incident that has came up. How do I create insert scripts from tables in Snowflake? Ideally, this should match with one of the resolution or one of the incident that I have here is how to generate insert scripts from existing table in Snowflake, right? Uh, this is uh, similar. How do I create insert scripts from tables in Snowflake, right? So I, uh, for this query, I pass this query to the retrievers get relevant documents, right? Which are these five documents. Um, and this will return me the incident document. So these documents should come at the top, right? Be because uh, this has... Uh, is more relevant to the question that I have, right? So once I have the incident documents, then I create the resolution documents out of it. So what I, I do is uh, from uh, the list of documents that are returned from this retriever, I take the resolution and the source of that resolution and create the resolution documents, right? And then I instantiate a the large language model here. I'm using text of MC. Uh, this is my prompt. I'm saying answer the question based on provided context only. And in the context, I will pass this resolution documents, like where I have the resolution as well as the source of the resolution. And this is where my question will go, right? And uh, then I'm using the load QA chain. As I mentioned, I'm passing the resolution documents to the load QA chain and the query, right? So let's see what answer we get for this question, which is how do I create insert scripts for tables in uh, Snowflake? So let me run this. So if you see, it will return me. So the incident documents, right? So um, like as we expected, uh, this is the document that came at the top, right? And then uh, it gave me the answer since I'm printing the response here. And I also, in my prompt, I said for each answer, please also cite the link. At the end of the answer, create a list of cited links. So it gave me the answer, exactly the answer that is there in the resolution of this incident, which is, uh, this was the uh, document that it matched with. And this is the, resolution so exactly that resolution it gave me right and it also gave me the link of that resolution which is also which which matches the the this uh, insert script uh, uh, the link right so that's how the bm25 works retriever works and as i mentioned this will be more relevant for use cases where the the question, the prompt, and the documents will more have a keyword matching than a semantic matching. So here, I probably will not use any vector store. I will use uh, um, indexes or uh, databases uh, like um, Elasticsearch and all. So that's all I wanted to show. Uh, that is all uh, about the BM25.
25 retriever. Um, my next recording, um, if I can get hold of an Elasticsearch uh, instance, or if I can install Elasticsearch instance, I can show how, how we can uh, implement it uh, uh, with Elasticsearch as well. That's all for today. Thank you.